How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Sting. Welcome back to the best series ever. It pretty much has been the best series ever. Oh my gosh. Um, so last time we went to um, XZ's concert, got the necklace for our sister, had a fun time with Yuna. Uh, we fast forwarded a few, I think a month. Um, things were going pretty good. However, we do have the very interesting thing, the implication that our parents could have been murdered. And if they were, I guarantee you, it's for whatever's in our core that makes it go supercharged. Cause, I mean, think about Think about how much money you could make off something like that. And so I'm really nervous, guys. I, I genuinely think we might become physically in danger soon. And more terrifying, uh, Valerie being the one who's figuring it out. I think she's primarily going to be in the danger zone. Yuna for being close to us. Um, Uncle Kaido, our, our sister, like they're all gonna be in the crosshairs if that's true. So I'm terrified to see what's gonna happen. but. Uh, let's see how things go from here. So, um, last time we were here, um, everyone's been busy. Nikki's been cooking in the in Uncle Kato's store, um, and Uncle Kato's been working. And so I guess we have this evening where we're going to be interacting with them. And it's been a while since we've really been able to do things with them. So, let's see what happens. Tonight is one of those rare nights where both Nikki and Uncle Kaido are off of work and I have no plans. After devouring a delicious meal that Nikki made, I'm happily nursing my food baby while Uncle Kaido clears the dishes. I have a permanent food belly. It's just always there, my companion, my friend. Keeps my six pack safe, you know, in a nice protective cooler. Nikki sighs heavily and slumps on the table. I can't believe that nobody here really celebrates Halloween. That's true. I kind of like that's one of those weird little facts that I learned. I was like, yeah, let's get that. But also, it's kind of creepy if you think about it. Like, oh, let's go knock on our neighbors' doors and take candy from them. We have no clue who most of them are, but let's just take candy. Yay! Good things to teach children. So, yeah. I'll think about the Halloween party I'm supposed to attend tomorrow. Uh, yeah, they do. Well, sort of. They don't decorate, though. I sigh wistfully. Ah, <sighs> that's true. Nikki snorts. I bet all you really care about are all the slutty costume parties. Oh, I hadn't even considered that. Oh. <laughs> um, who doesn't miss that? <laughs> um, not creepy. Uh, I think the decorations, because I, I like haunted houses the most. I think those are fun. It's like not a count under decorations, because Halloween definitely does not blow. And it's not the candy that makes it awesome. Actually, my favorite part of Halloween was watching our town turn into a spooky graveyard or haunted house. Oh yeah, Dad used to go all out with decorating. It was fun, but those fake cobwebs are surprisingly sticky. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow they get caught in everything. Uncle Kato sits down, looks intrigued yet confused. Is that really a tradition? Uh, he looks good. Nice suit, man. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Interesting. But that's yeah. not even the best part about Halloween. America's weird. <laughs> no. Yes, it is. <laughs> Nikki glares at me. No, the best part about Halloween is pumpkins. Interesting. I guess so, but they, they tend to start getting rotten and smelly. More specifically, jack-o'-lanterns. Oh yeah, carving pumpkins with mom was both fun and frustrating. It's because she was just so good at it. I mean, ridiculously good. Oh, that sounds cool. I would wish I were skilled at pumpkin carves. Remember that one time she carved a headless horseman onto a pumpkin? Nikki laughs. Yeah, and I'd been so proud of my pumpkin because I carved vampire fangs instead of square teeth. Ah, uh, yes, the traditional. You yelled at Mom for cheating and cried until she promised to carve another one with you. I didn't cry. Uh, you probably did. Yeah, you did. Well, <laughs> my pumpkin still ended up being better than yours. Yeah, that's because you cheated. Says you. <laughs> you think you can do better? Oh, bring it on. Please, your pumpkins can never compete with mine. Uncle Kaido has been laughing while listening to his banter, but he finally interjects. Actually, your mom wasn't the only person in this family with amazing art skills. I bet my Ooh. carving skills could outdo even your mom's. Sounds like we have a competition in our hands. Nikki grins. That's a pretty serious claim. There's only one way to find out. Where are my keys? I'll go buy the pumpkins. Oh, I love it. That's the thing. I love how spontaneous this is. Like, real life should be like this. If you aren't spontaneous, like, try it. It's fun to just do random stuff. Within reason. <laughs> Kato changes out of his suit and runs to the store. Meanwhile, Nikki and I scrounge around the house for some carving knives and old newspapers. Oh, that sounds like fun. Oh, man. Uncle Kato returns with a triumphant smile to see a flat green pumpkins on the table. Oh, no. 
Here, I bought four kabochas. Uh, why four? Just in case someone messes up, or we get hungry. Okay. Nikki seems thoughtful. They're a little small, but I guess these will do. It would be better if we could have found the big orange ones, but I guess they're kind of hard to find in Japan. True. No one grows them there, I'm sure. Uncle Kiddo frowns. Are these wrong? Uh, they'll be fine. <laughs> I tie an apron around my waist, grab one of the knives, and stab my pumpkin. Ha! I look at murder face right there. Jeez, look at that grin as he plunges in the knife. <laughs> a little too real there. Kato has already slipped up, his, slipped on his apron and stabs his pumpkin too. Then he cuts a circle off the top. Less talking and more carving. Yes, let's get to it. <laughs> Nikki hurriedly sets up. Aye, aye, Captain. Yes, sir. We fall silent as we carve in deep concentration. The only sounds are the squelching of the pumpkins. Uh, I've almost finished my pumpkin when Nikki pulls out, puts down her knife. And done. Look at this masterpiece. I wonder if we actually get to see it. That'd be cool. She swivels her pumpkin around and shows us a spooky face. She carved a narrow eyes and a long grin full of sharp teeth. How did you do that so quickly? <laughs> Nikki giggles. I told you, I'm the carving master. She peeks at Uncle Kato's pumpkin. You've only finished one eye. Well, maybe it'll be a magnificent eye. You can't rush brilliance. What about you, bro? Just finishing the last few touches. She looks at my pumpkin. Even he's almost finished. How come you barely started? Just wait. Mine is going to be even better than the two of yours because I'm actually taking the time to do it right. And he could be right, or he could be like me and just not know what end of the knife to use. I mean, I don't know. I think I hear a faint knock at the door, but no one else reacts. It must have been my imagination. I win by default because I was fastest. That's not fair. I thought we were being judged on best carving job. It's true. It's both. Best and fastest carving. That's oh. why we did it at home. How convenient. <laughs> I don't know these rules. Nikki turns to me. Who do you think is the winner? Uh, have, you, have you not seen my masterpiece? Uh, clearly, the winner is me. I thought you weren't even finished. I finished up while you two were arguing. I spin my pumpkin around for them to view it. Does this not scare your pants off? The hero is an eye round. Kato looks down at his legs. <laughs> mm, my pants are still on, so I'll have to say no. Oh no, we failed! Nice try. Aww. <laughs> Neither one of you knows what good art when you see it. A sing-song voice floats in the room, followed by a familiar face. Surprise! Ooh, oh, we get to see her for the first time. Aww, she, she looks a lot like May. <laughs> Everyone freezes. At Yuki? For some reason, she looks just as surprised as the rest of us. Her eyes are wide and her mouth forms an O. Oh, she's wearing a long, stylish trench coat, which, is clo which she closes tightly. Nikki's face breaks into a wide smile and she races to give Aunt Yuki a hug. Aunt Yuki? Aunt Yuki relaxes in a matching grin and hugs her back. Oh, you've grown so tall. What happened? Aw, she's adorable. <laughs> Nikki giggles. Can you think so? I, I still hope I grow another inch or two. I can't believe you're finally here! Yuki blinks in surprise. Oh, right. I'm, uh, back from my business trip. Oh, dang, Nikki's the only one who doesn't know. That's right. She looks at Kato for backup, but his face is frozen, mask of surprise and fear. Um. Uh. Uh. Fetch. Play along. Oh, wow, Yuki, you're gone a really long time. Nikki giggles and falls my lead. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen you since we moved here. What were you doing? That took so long. Uh-oh. Oh, you know, I was traveling doing company PR. Boring stuff. You don't want to hear about it. Uncle Kato finally recomposes himself. It's okay, Yuki. They know. They do? They figured it out. I had no choice. Oh, okay, so Nikki does know. Right. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose that makes things easier. Are you angry? I shake my head. Of course not, we get it. I'm sorry I didn't stop by to see you kids sooner, but your uncle didn't even tell me you were here until a few weeks ago, when I was really traveling for work. Oh. Nikki mock, mock glares at Kato. Seriously, uncle? Yeah, jeez, man. I meant to tell her, I just never seemed to have time. He just wanted to hug you all to himself. How rude! <laughs> Nikki hugs at Yuki again. Very civil, considering the, the separation. 
Uh, Aunt Yuki, don't you want to take your coat off? Uh, um. Uh. Oh. Oh no, she might have been on a date for this. That was a rough thing to come back here from. She steps back from Nikki and pulls her coat tighter. You know, it's a little chilly in here, so I think I'll keep it on. Really? I don't think it's cold. I actually, um, didn't realize you kids were home. Uh, Kato's eyes widen and understanding as Yuki makes eye contact. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. He quickly adjusts his feet. Uh, Yuki, I need to talk to you about something, uh, um, in private. Yes, sure. The more words are out of her out of, out of her mouth, the two of them are already halfway up the stairs. I try to stifle my laughter as Dickie watches them leave, her mouth hanging open to confusion. Okay. Is it me or was that really weird? The sweet innocent Nikki, if only you could stay this innocent forever. I pat her on the head. Don't you worry your pretty little head about it. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. <laughs> You'll understand when you're older. Oh, I hated that line. Now you're acting weird too. Yep. A few, a few minutes later, Kato and Yuki returned. She shed her coat as wearing a pink sweater and a skirt. Aww. Crisis averted. <laughs> Uncle Kato shoots me a warning look at Yuki blushes. I struggle to hold my grin. Yep. Aunt Yuki, if you weren't really away on business, what brings you back home? Uh-oh. Yuki's blush deepens. Even Uncle Kato's cheeks burn red. Jesus. Nikki says, smashing him out of the park right now. Hey, look at the pumpkins we've been carving. That's why you got four. Maybe. Maybe. He seemed to forget that she was coming. But... Oh, yes. I'd love to see them. Nikki glances over at me and raises her eyebrow again. I just laugh. <laughs> While Aunt Yuki inspects the pumpkins, Uncle Kato and Nikki return to argue about whose pumpkin is who is the pumpkin master. Yuki says she'll put everyone to shame. I can't help but smile as Uncle Kato slip his arm around Aunt Yuki. Maybe things are looking up for the two of them. I... I... Can't say I wouldn't be happy for that. I mean, you know, do what you do, but I mean, if they're rekindling the spark, that's awesome. Before Nikki can challenge Aunt Yuki to a carving contest, I offer to take Nikki to the movies so Kato and Yuki can catch up. Aww, what a good guy. At first, Nikki protests, but she has no choice but to go with me when I drag her out of the house. By the time the movie ends, Aunt Yuki and Uncle Kato are nowhere to be found. I go to bed with a smile on my face and... A glimmer of hope in my heart. Aw, how touching. Why do I feel like something could be just yanked out from underneath us? I blink bleary eyes as my alarm wakes me and I quickly slap it off. Why is this even going off today? I don't have anything planned for this morning, so I can afford to sleep in. I close my eyes, roll over, and fall back to sleep. Hmm, did we forget something? <laughs> I don't know, it feels like a mere minute I slumber, I wake up again disturbed, this time from the buzzing from my phone. Ugh, who wants to talk to me? My arm shoots out from beneath the blankets and grabs my phone. <laughs> I squid from the blinding rays, peeking through my curtain and retreat to the safety underneath the covers. <laughs> hmm, there's a call from Shell. Uh, hello? Brosif, you ready or what? Uh, huh? Were you sleeping? Dude, it's 5 p.m. Oh, fetch, what? How could I? Okay, okay. I am not a morning person. I cannot understand how people can stay in bed after 10 o'clock. I don't know what it is, but like by the time I'm like itching to get out. What? I throw off my blankets and push back the curtains, letting the blinding rays of dusk. Oh, crap. Oh, I slept the whole day away? I don't know, but the Halloween party is starting soon at the pilot's lounge. Do you have any idea what that means? No. Uh. Fun party times? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting ready now. I'll meet you at campus in a few. Good. I'll see you there. After hanging up, I throw my phone down on my bed and try to make myself look presentable. I still have an old costume from my time back at CINY. Maybe that would be doable this time around. What should I dress up as? Ooh, <laughs> yes. What should we be? A Ninja Rangers. Ooh, that's a good one. Legolas from Lord of the Gears. Sexy police officer or Bad Man the Dark Knight. Oh, fetch. Okay. Um... If we were on, like, I already know a couple. If we were on the May route, Legolas from Lord of the Gears, definitely. If we were on the Kaori route, it's one of the Ninja Rangers. Oh, 
By the way, <laughs> I've been playing the other routes in the background. Once again, just a reminder, I am only going to publish one route of any Let's Play I do on YouTube because I want to keep the integrity of the game up there. I want you guys to be able to experience something different if you get the game, and I highly encourage you buy it. It shows support for the creators, it encourages more games like this to be, be brought around, and quite honestly, nothing beats doing it yourself. I'm glad you're here with me, but if you don't have this game, get it and see the other routes. They're amazing. I'm still very happy with the route I'm doing with Yuna, but the writer did a fantastic job with all of them, so they're worth seeing by far. But, uh, Sexy Police Officer, that would be for Valerie, and Bad Men the Dark Knight, it's the only one that's left, it might be for Yuna, so I think I might go for that one. He's a superhero too, but kind of a dark, a gravity voiced one. I might be able to do that voice a little better than that. But so, like I said, if just in case you're interested, a Ninja Ranger goes for a uh, really impress um, Kaori, Mia, uh, Mayu, uh, Sexy Police uh, Valerie. So, I'm Batman. <coughs> I'm Batman. Enough said. <laughs> After prepping and changing into my costume, I hop on my bike and head to campus. Oh, that'd be cool with a cape on? Biking with a cape on, you really look like the Dark Knight. When I reach the pilot's lounge main entrance, I text Shell, only to see him waving at me. Broseph! Ooh, nice. Hey. He's in a... The Osogami High School uniform. Persona 4! He grins. That's right. Excellent. I never noticed until now, but the real shell looks and acts very similar to Yozako Hamanua. Hamanua. Yozoki Hamanua. It's another one of those references. It's forever referencing a popular anime. That's a perfect Yokozo cosplay. Good stuff. His eyes widen in surprise. Yosuke. Yeah? He frowns. No, not Yosuke. I'm supposed to be you, not Akami. Uh oh. Mmm, I don't see it. You definitely fit the profile of the secondary character, the protagonist's best friend. No way! I won't settle for that role. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that's the kind of your rule, buddy. I'm afraid it's already been decided. Because you look exactly like you, Yozuke in that cosplay. And he's also the secondary character best friend in this game. <laughs> Fate has spoken! It looks like he's about to argue with size. I knew I should have gotten that white wig sooner. It was still being delivered. At least he accepts his face. Speaking of outfits... He looks at me. Master Wayne, which bad man are you? <laughs> the best one. The best one. Shall not solemnly. I would expect nothing less. The two, two guys dressed as salt and pepper shakers into the building. Ooh, are they a couple? Shall we get going? Because that is definitely a couple's outfits. <laughs> Where are the girls? They met up in Kauri's dorm to get ready. They'll be over soon. We can head in first. Alright. We enter the pilot's lounge and I gape at the surroundings. There are fake cobwebs lining the corners of the ceilings and the walls. A fake bats and spiders are st strategically placed in nooks and crannies. The lights are dim, which gives the place a spookier feel. Excellent! It's like what we wanted! I barely even recognize the lounge. This place looks awesome! There's a decent number of people here, and I recognize most of the pilots. I assume there, I assume there are also engineers and team managers here too. It's a little hard to tell if everyone's wearing them their costumes. And there are some pretty great costumes here. Some people went full out creative and dressed up in hilarious memes or puns, while others shilled out for fancy, well-crafted costumes. Man, cosplay costumes in general in Japan must be awesome. I mean, I'm like obviously not everyone does it stuff there, but like. It feels like in any any time in Japan when there's something geeky, people go full all out, like hands down, nothing held back. It it would be pretty cool. But of course, the winners of the evening are all the beautiful ladies who can only technically be considered dressed. <laughs> like technically dressed. I sigh contentedly. This takes me back to my first CI and Y costume party. Uh, I I think I'm in heaven. Psh, psh, eyes for me, you man. Shao's eyes are wide and his mouth hangs agape. He's staring hard at the group of girls dressed in a range of costumes, from sexy teachers to cute Japanese idol cosplays. Oh, there they are! She, uh, Shao points to the group of girls standing near the couches. As I squint to get a better look, I realize the rest of our team. Looks like they made it here before us! Come on! This is gonna be great! Here comes the thumbnail! <laughs> Shao and I weave through the crowd and make our way to the girls. Oh, jeez. Hey! Aw, they look adorable! Okay, Yuna's definitely got the best one. Sorry guys, but I have to say, Yuna's got the best one. Um, I would say Kaori's is pretty cool, like a like Mystic Warrior, and then Mayu's is very, it's very cute. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a fairy or not, and then, well then there's that. 
Joe's amino changes mid-word from excitement to confused. Hey there, cuties. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Hello. Aww. Oh, she says, hi. <laughs> May you smiles and waves. Joe's face is bright red and he's having trouble making eye contact. So, yeah, I would be too, man. I don't blame him. <laughs> Kaori's wearing a knight outfit that's currently popular fantasy anime. And in typical anime fashion, the armor is more aesthetically pleasing than functional. Because, you know, that makes sense. As a healthy heterosexual male, Yuna's witch costume makes it hard to focus on her face. Yep, that's that's an understatement for sure. May use dressed in a cute magical girl cosplay. Okay, magical girl. I'm impressed by the intricate intricacies of her costume and how well it complements her. Mm, I bet she likes cosplay. Finally, Valerie. I think the plethora of guys uh, ogling her speaks volumes about her Neko girl outfit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Valerie spins her tail playfully. Oh, gosh. Please tell me that's not the full-on one. You don't want to know. You don't want to know what they do. So, what do you boys think? Had a time to be alive. Valerie giggles. Let's go get some drinks. Well, non, head over to the bar. Oh, hey. boy. Hey, Yuna. Yuna appears in front of me wearing a wide smile as the group moves on. Hey, Yuna. The Dark Knight. Yep. I grin. She looks at me playfully. Does that mean you'll be saving all of the damsels in distress this evening? Uh, maybe, but only one in particular. I'll leave it to you. <laughs> I take a step closer and her cheeks flush as I close the distance. Oh, fetch, man. Oh, we're in a relationship now. This is crazy. <laughs> I'm only interested in protecting one person. She wraps her arms around my neck and kisses me. Oh, I love it. It's so awesome. Good, because I don't like sharing. Aww, adorable. On that note... Yuna holds out her hand to the side, giving me a clear view of her outfit. What do you think? It's gorgeous. I love it. <laughs> Super cute, like you always are. <laughs> she blushes and beams. Thank you. Aww. Let's go catch up with the rest of the group. I'm really going to enjoy the rest of this. Like, I love... Because so many stories end up in anime or... Or in any medium, really, it's like you want the couple to get together, and then they get together, and that's like the end of the story. I love it when we get to see like an actual relationship, like moving forward, things happening. That's that's really cool. Cause that's life. Sure. Ah. Oh, Once we re reconvene at the bar, we order our drinks and find an open table among the couches. Well, hey, it's why are so you guys looking so grumpy? I still can't have anything alcoholic. Ah, oh, that's why. Valerie pouts and puts her arm around Mayu. Isn't that right? Mayu speaks softly. Um, I don't want to drink even if I could. My girl, Mayu. Really? You have to at least try it once. Oh, not really. I did. It was gross. I feel show ill on my side. If she's this excitable normally, I wonder how she'd act when drunk. Don't, don't, don't ask questions. I don't even want to imagine the trouble she'd get us all into. Shall ask. Through that, brosif. Hey, enough with your private conversation. Let's play a game. Oh dear. Yuna perks up. Oh, that sounds like fun. Mayu nods excitedly. Himikari, Carrie seems interested. Okay, what game were you thinking, Valerie? Well, in honor of Sho's cosplay of Yosuke. Uh. Not Yosuke! No, it's Yosuke. Mayu looks surprised. Oh, really? I thought you were Yosuke this whole time. <laughs> Show slumps at the tail. Oh, you too, Mayu. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just you portray him perfectly. It's oh, true. Oh, it's that outfit, I mean. <laughs> no, in every other way too. Wasn't Yozuke the comic relief? Oh, my. And it's... a pervert. Oh, it's so perfect. It's like someone copied and pasted that character and changed his name to Show. <laughs> the group nods. Show groans. Uh, you guys are killing me here. That's awesome. <laughs> you know, looks at Valerie. What game were you thinking about? The King's Game. Um, King's Game. King's Game. Is that a card game? King's Game? Mm-hmm. It's easy. We number chopsticks and give one of them a special symbol. Whoever picks the symbol is the king. Okay. Oh, that sounds easy enough. Yeah, it's a random chance. What's what the can the king do? The better question is what the king can't do. He'll command one of the numbers to do something, and his order is absolute. It's effectively truth or dare, but you just skip the truth part. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, don't worry, it's a lot of fun. I agree with you. Well, oh. I guess it couldn't hurt to try it. It could hurt. It could hurt. Everyone looks at Carrie, surprise. She's the last person we'd expect to agree to a game like this. She blinks at us. What? It's only us playing. I'm sure no one is going to make an unreasonable command. 
Uh, have you talked or heard Valerie talk in any way? Carrie glares at Shell. Right. Shell slips uncomfortably. Right. Yeah, of, co of course, I would never, I would never. Then it's settled. <laughs> oh dear. Valerie grabs some chopsticks and marks them with numbers, and marks one of them with a collar. She sh stuffs them at the table and holds them in her hand. But the marks are covered. Let the games begin. Oh, fetch. My heart's racing in anticipation as we all grab a stick. Oh, I'm terrified. I turn mine over and see the colored marking. Lucky! I watch the rest of my friends turn theirs over. Carrie wears her best poker face. If I didn't already have the king's stick, I wouldn't know what she had in her hand. Joe's first face is one of bitter disappointment. I wonder what he had planning as king. Maybe he breathes a sigh of relief. I guess she didn't want to be king. If Valerie seemed indifferent about her stick. She probably would have been happy as king or subject. Yuna looks around at the table. Who's the king? I offer my gr my... I offer my glorious crown, er, chopstick. Broseph's got it. What is your command, your majesty? Oh dear, what power is this? Let's think for a moment. I command... Okay, we'll go with number two. <laughs> I'm not risking a brand new relationship on doing something ridiculous. I'm sorry. Number two must give me a hug. Yuna blinks. Oh, that would be me. Perfect. <laughs> she looks at me that blushes. You lucky bastard. <laughs> At least starts for Carrie and May, you look confused. Why? It's a hug between friends. It's nothing unusual. Did they not... I guess we haven't really talked about it. Not exactly between friends. But that's not it. Don't understand at all. What? Don't worry about it. Enough talk. Hurry up already. Valerie smirks. You and I stand up and approach each other. Uh, so I will... Um... Yeah, okay. And I'll, I'll go here. We awkwardly lean in some distraction and switch again. It's almost like cuddling with each other. No, colliding with each other. It's a lot harder with people watching. Okay, here, just... <laughs> Yuna wraps her arms around my waist and places her head on my shoulder. As I embrace her, I can't ignore the soft pleasure against my chest. <sighs> it's a reality grow up. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. I feel her kiss my left cheek, the one which faces away from the group. Aww. <laughs> her face reddens. I can hear Sho muttering something under his breath about being jealous. Yuna and I entangle from each other. We hugged before, but to do it in front of a group is still embarrassing. Aww, that was so cute. Let's play again! <laughs> like, I want king! We're all surprised by Sho's outburst. I will be king! Everyone bursts into laughter. He he's, gonna, he's gonna do kiss, and it's gonna be me, isn't it? <laughs> if it is, we're doing it! We played a few more rounds with King's game, and Sho never once drew the color stick. Aww, oh, that sucks. Watching his frustration as some of us became repeated kings was an endless source of, of amusement. I wonder if his luck is really that bad or if a certain blonde was drinking the game for her own amusement. Ah! Wouldn't put it past her. When it became late, we all said our goodbyes and headed out. Oh, my gosh, that was awesome. I think we've got a little bit more for this. I stifle a yawn as I enter the quiet house. Tiptoeing into my room, I quickly get ready for bed and fall asleep with a smile on my face. Best Halloween ever. I agree. That was wonderful. I'm very lucky I picked the right stick. Ah, the buzz of my alarm pulls me out of dream world and into reality. With a sleepy roll, I slap blindly at the sound. Ugh. Eh. Just five more minutes. Why have I become so lazy? <laughs> the buzzing doesn't cease no matter how hard I smack the clock. I barely open my eyelids as 10.17am blinks at me. <sighs> Crap! I struggle straight up. I, I shoot straight out of bed. I'm late for class. And with that, we will end this episode here. Ah, a little bit of a shorter one this time, but I think it's fine. I don't want to get into too much of the next thing. So we're late for class. That'll be fun. But oh my gosh, Halloween. That was the best thing ever. It was so cute. <laughs> oh, this game is so awesome. Thank you so much for joining me once again. It's another week of just a fantastic episode. I can't get enough of this game. It's just so much fun. So thank you so much for joining me once again. Thank you so much for being a part of this Let's Play. I'm going to be sad when this one's over, but remember we have that, I think it's called Crystalline, coming out next, and that'll be a lot of fun too. So I hope you are taking care of yourselves. I don't know. Thanks for sticking around, and until the next video you watch with me, whatever you happen to watch next, I'll see you there.